Hello everyone and welcome back to Kronos Plays Phoenix Wright Justice for All. Today, we're hearing more testimony from this lunatic. What happened next? The girl on the upper path ran away as soon as she realized I was there. After that, I immediately called the police station to report the crime. It must have been 6.45 when I made the call. They must have had a lot of free time on their hands since they showed up within 10 minutes. Or they could have just had some station nearby, dog. Hmm. So the person who was on the upper path saw you and then ran away. Yes, that is correct. Which is why even someone without a superior brain like mine can understand that. That girl is the murderer. You may question, witness the witch, uh, question the witness now, Mr. Wright. Alrighty. So let's press him on everything. I'm assuming your name. Actually, let's go to present real fast, court records. Your name's probably gonna show up on this list at some point, right? And these are your glasses. And this is your phone. And you're 22, you're the same age as her, huh? Still looking for the right college, all right. Uh, press. She ran away, just like that. Yes, she did. She saw me and flew the nest like the guilty bird she is. Oh, excuse me, I made a pun. Oh, I'm sorry, was that, yes. Was that pun too hard for someone for someone who only got a third-rate education? Actually, that did take me a, little, a few seconds to get. Anyways, if she ran away the instant she saw you, how could you tell it was my client? My witness has already answered that question. He has stated that the defendant is the culprit. This is true, Mr. Wright. I'm striking your question from the record, because I am an asshole. Well, how can I get more information out of him? Immediately, as in... As in immediately. I mean, sure, a minute might have elapsed before I did, but... That's the duty of every good citizen, or did they not teach that in your pitiful school? You think people learn about how to call the police in college? Hey, Nick, I think you should take a look at the court record for a second. It must have been 6.45 when I made the call. What, this? I don't know what you're, I don't know why you want me to look at the, I'm assuming it's the list of names. It must have been, yeah, press. How do you know what time it was? The detective told me. You know which one I mean. The one with the jacket that makes him look like a dropout from a no-name high school. Hey, pal! I graduated from a, from a pretty good, I mean, top-ranked college! I don't believe this. It doesn't matter. I don't believe I was mistaken on what time I called. Oh, <laughs> I mean, I don't believe Gumshoe might have graduated from college, but who knows? And if I'm wrong, then the detective obviously doesn't know how to tell time. What? Why you? You're just some lousy kid who... I think the court can see your point anyways, before Gumshoe comes in here and suplex you. How did the police respond? So you're saying that there, there were police on the scene by 7 p.m.? They got there before that, I think. There usually aren't many people in that area at the time of day, but suddenly, before I knew it, there were people crawling over, gawking. I certainly say, it certainly says something about the morals of the people in this country. You can't find anything out of the ordinary in his testimony. Why don't you take one look, one more look at the court records? Yeah, I guess I should. Okay. Um. But. <laughs> what do you mean? But do you want me to present this? Alyssa Carnars and their phone number stored on the cell phone. On the cell phone, Maggie caught fine. I must have had a lot of free time. No, no. So the two ones. Like Phoenix, like, how do I get more information? 
was that one and this one? Right? But what do you... I don't know... It can't be this one. It doesn't make any sense. There's not there's nothing the Oh, wait. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Yeah, the time's off. Mr. Wellington, Beef Wellington if I may, would you please take a look at this? You mean the victim's autopsy report? According to this, the murder occurred at 6.28 p.m. So what of it? You said that you called the police immediately after the murder took place. However, by the time you had called the police, it was 6.45. There's clearly a 15 minute gap here. Do you deny it? Ah! I think this court would like to hear what you were doing during this 15 minute gap. Her. The witness was in shock at the time after witnessing a terrible murder. It was only to be expected that he would be a little dazed. Fifteen minutes is hardly what I would call a little dazed. Ah! I mean... I mean, okay, people can be traumatized for a while after seeing a murder. It really depends on the person. The fact that you were able to recover so quickly after fifteen minutes and still be a goddamn lunatic like this, that's something else. Uh, Mr. Wellington. Yes. Explain yourself. What were you doing during those 15 minutes? Answer the question. I, uh, telephone. I, uh, I mean. Spit it out. I was searching for a phone booth. A phone booth? In this day and age? You mean you don't have a cell phone? You and your questions, as if you're trying to open up, open all the layers of, uh, Mat Matri Matre Oska doll? Matri Oska? Is that the little Russian dolls with the like the dolls inside? You must think you're really something special. Witness! I am special! I lost my cell phone! There, are you happy? You lost it. Unbelievable, you lost you lose your glasses and your cell phone. You must be very scattered brain when it comes to your belongings. What? Are you saying that the first way people are never allowed to lose things? Have you ever heard that blah, 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 blah? Oh my god. Get to the end. Enough. Oh man, oh man. Wait, hold on a second. He lost his cell phone. Nick, that cell phone, could it be? You mean this one Maggie found? There's no way. Boy, I didn't see this one coming. What should I do? Question further. Mr. Wellington, where's your cell phone right now? What are you getting all excited about? You seem a little confused. I found my phone. I'll ha have it. I'll have you know. Here, see? Oh, I see. Huh? Looks like he got his phone. And I thought this was just maybe uh, that. Just maybe this was his phone. Hmm. Well then, I think we're we've cleared up this issue. At the time of the murder, the witness did not have his cell phone because he had lost it, like the loser he is. Therefore, the delay in his call was caused by a search for his phone booth, which uh, d don't exist these day, in this day and age for whatever, not whatever reason, but for the most part, I haven't seen a cell phone booth in a long time. In a long, long time. Even in the city, I haven't seen a cell phone booth. I know there's some, like, banks that might have a phone on the outside near their ATM, but not many. Well, that's the gist of it. I guess you could put it that way and leave it at that. Do you have any further questions, Mr. Wright? Uh, there's something. Your Honor, the witness testimony does not make any sense. I don't believe that there has ever uh, was ever a need for a witness to search for a phone. How, how dare you! You can't just make outrageous claims like that. Do you have some sort of proof, don't, don't you? Well, yeah, of course. This evidence should be good enough, I think. All right, let's see this proof then. Please present proof that the witness had no need for search. Yeah? 
It's very simple. This is the evidence that backs up my claim. And yet again, you have presented this court with obtuse, meaningless item. Huh? It's obtuse and meaningless. Don't... I don't get you at all, Nick. Why don't you... Why do you think he wouldn't need to look at for a phone in the first place? Why do you think he wouldn't need to look for a phone in the first place? Well, that's because I was looking at the evidence and it just hit me. I thought, hey, he really didn't have to look for a phone. Then why don't you hurry up and present that piece of evidence? Huh. All right, let's have this proof then. Oh, yeah. It's quite simple, actually. Please take a look at this. At the crime scene photo. Is there a problem with it? Oh, there's nothing wrong with the picture. But if you don't understand my logic after looking at something is uh, at looking at it, something is wrong with you. How? It's it's a phone booth. That is correct. All the defendant had to do was walk three steps. Mr. Reef Wellington, why did you not use the phone that was right in front of you? Order, order. Uh, what is reporting a crime a little late proved to the for the defense? The witness can't explain what he was doing for those 15 minutes. That is reason enough to throw suspicion in his testimony. On his testimony. Yes, that is very true. What do you have to say for yourself, witness? And I bet the phone really was his, Nick. He must have killed Dustin to get his phone back. But Maggie, uh, but Maggie said that she was going to return it to him. So there's no reason for him to kill for it. And on top of that, we still have a phone she found anyways. Huh. But if he wasn't looking for his cell phone, maybe he was looking for something else. Was he? Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. Do you have any other th any thoughts that you would like to share for the, with the court? Can you offer an explanation? I have an idea, sure. There's only one possible explanation. All right, let's hear your explanation. However, be forewarned, if your explanation is not persuasive, you'll be penalized. Think carefully before you present, Mr. Wright. Yeah, Your Honor. Ugh, I probably shouldn't have said there was one possibility. We present the court with one piece of evidence that will answer the following. Why didn't the witness call the police right away? Uh -huh. Because he was writing? Probably? Perhaps it's the evidence you need to be convinced. Perhaps? Uh -huh. Okay, so no. So I'm gonna get penalized? Alright. Ouch. And it wasn't that bad. Hmm. Glasses? It's not this, because we haven't really talked about this yet. Okay. Mr. Wellington! What? Don't do that! You almost gave me a heart attack! That's my signature move. These are your glasses, aren't they? Ah! Uh, where? Where did you find? I believe the court all heard what you just confessed to. That these glasses are in fact yours. And I'll tell you where they were found, Mr. Wellington. These glasses were found under the victim's body. Uh, under the victim's body! Order! Order! Now, now, wait a second! Hold on! I didn't confess or confirm anything! Your Honor, I think the answer is quite clear here. As he fell, Dustin and Prince grabbed the culprit's glasses. The culprit knew that he had to find his glasses and searched frantically for them. What he didn't realize was that they were under the victim's body. And that is why it took him 15 minutes to make the call. Mr. Wright, are you... Are you indicating that the witness is as the real murderer? Of course! That is precisely what I'm doing. It's kind of what I do in these court cases. You just broke your own neck there, dog. I know I'm right! I always am! He is the real murderer! Did you figure it out, Nick? More or less. Turns out the cell phone was the key to this case after all. 
Anyways, now's our chance to deep six this guy. I'll sneak him in with one shot. Yeah! This is so exciting walking, watching you work again. Oh, so you just came back. Somehow, my old self is coming back to me. It's time to sink or swim. Everything rests on the edge of a knife. This is the moment I've been waiting for. Order, order. Your Honor, the defense, the defense is making a mockery of this court. Without any solid ground to stand on, he accuses the witness of being a murderer. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I, I'm no criminal. That this third-rate fraud of a lawyer. In that case, why don't you look at it from a different perspective? Let's hear your explanation on why you're not the murderer. Why? That's that's easy. I, uh, for example, is um the victim wrote the, the name of the victim wrote. What about that? Oh, you mean the name Maggie? Yeah. Even an idiot like that can read that. Even like you can read that, right? But we already know that this was not written by the victim himself. After all, the defendant's name is Maggie, and the victim was left-handed. In other words, in order to make the defendant look guilty, the real criminal used the victim's right hand to write her name on the ground. But, 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 but! Wouldn't that mean that the real criminal was someone the defendant knew? Otherwise, how else would the person know her name was Maggie or Maggie? That's a good point. The witness didn't even know of Miss Bird before this trial. Ah, I forgot. Hmm. Was there? Yes, there was a way! It'd be best if I could prove the witness had a chance to learn that the defendant name was, na was named Maggie. Well, but now, will the defense please present this case? How could the defense... Yeah, uh... This? Mr. Wellington! You didn't have your cell phone with you on the day of the murder, correct? So what if I didn't... Then you, when you realized you had lost it, what did you do? What did I do? Didn't you try to find it by calling it? Why you? How did you? Your Honor, these questions have nothing to do with... <laughs> Judge is like, shut up. Overruled. Mr. Wright, where are you going with this line of questioning? Do you think there's some relation between the witness's cell phone and the murder? I do, Your Honor. On the day of the murder, Maggie Bird picked up the lost phone in the park. And... She also received a phone call from the owner of the phone. Beep. Um, hello? Oh, thank you. I've been searching for my phone. Is this yours? Oh, I'm glad you called. We can meet up and I can give this back. I'll be right there. Um, sorry, I didn't catch your name. Oh, you can call me Maggie. Call her the Blue Badger. That was when you learned that her name was Maggie. Hi, um... But you made one fatal mistake. Fatal mistake? My client's name is Maggie, but the name that was written on the ground was Maggie. Shit blows your mind, doesn't it? This is a mistake that could only occur if, <laughs> if all you knew was how her name sounded. He. Orta, Orta! Where's my BLT? How about your honor? The witness has no motive! And your point is? It's very simple, Your Honor. A person usually would not kill someone without a reason. Mr. Beef Wellington had no reason to kill anyone. This is absolutely correct. I don't have a motive. Hmm, Mr. Wright? Your Honor, can you explain what motive this witness could have had? It's very simple, Your Honor. Are you sure, Nick? If I can't offer an explanation, then the trial's over, right? Yeah, but... Now then, oh, we could lose two bars with this? Okay. Here, con artist, baby! Right? Probably? Mr. Wellington's motive is right here. What is this? A list. These phone numbers were pulled from the memory of the phone the defendant found. And we have determined that the people on this list are members of a certain group. You... you looked up all those numbers? Of course. This is a list of phone numbers. Uh, this list of phone numbers was stored in the cell phone's memory. The names and numbers belong to people who are members of a certain con artist group. What? Con artist? Can you explain why these numbers were on your phone, Mr. Welding? This? This is outrageous. An invasion of privacy. Looking up the phone numbers of a person on the person's phones is one of the worst crimes. Th what? Is a worse crime than murder? What? You're, you're one of those people. Blah, 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 blah. Dialogue with the goddess? I don't care, Mr. Wallentine. All I want is for you to tell us what this list is about. 
You think you, any of you, know what it's like to be a refined man such as me? Your Honor, uh, this, this is, this is unjustified badgering of the witness. Objection overruled. It's right. What is the meaning of this? Why would the witness have the numbers of a group of con on his phone? Isn't it obvious? The witness is looking into the group. A member of that group! Mr. Wellending is a member of this very group. No! All of your friends' phone numbers are stored right here on this phone. If anyone were to look into these numbers, uh, phone numbers, it would be all over for you. That is why you had to kill. No! This is too much! Huh, that does make quite a bit of sense. Well, Mr. Wellington, would you care to explain? I, um, I... I got you now. I, that, I, uh, that police officer... Your Honor! What is it, Mr. Payne? Your Honor, this, this is, this is unjustified badgering of the witness! You said the exact same thing a few seconds ago, and I overruled your ass. P -p please please let let's think about the content of that cell phone. Beep. Um, hello? Oh, thank you. I've been searching for my phone. Is this yours? Oh, I'm glad you called. We can meet up and I can give this back. The defendant had already promised that she would have returned the phone. After that, Mr. all Mr. Wellington had to do was meet Mr. Bird Ms. Ms. Bird to get his phone back. Why then would she need to kill anyone? Or he need to kill anyone. That is a valid point. What does the fence think about this? Hmm. Think about it logically, then it makes sense. Then maybe sh we should think, be thinking outside the box. Yeah, if we think like that, let's see. Maybe the slime boss saw something at the crime scene that made him commit murder. Your thoughts, Mr. Wright? Huh, well, I don't think Mr. Wellington went to pick up his phone in a very friendly manner. But he was promised his phone, so why would he have been unfriendly to the defendant? I think he must have seen something that didn't agree with him when he got there. Well, Mr. Wright, what was the... that's something he didn't agree with. Oh. The officer. Well, Mr. Wellington saw was the victim. The... the victim? You mean Dustin Prince? Dustin Prince had gone on his date right after his shift was over. With no time to change, he went to the park still wearing his police uniform. Oh! The girl that picked up my phone was with a policeman. He couldn't have known they were going out, so he began to worry. He was afraid the policeman would ask a few questions before returning the phone. If I do something suspicious, he might run a check on my phone. In his mind, it was possible that he already run the check on the phone. And he wanted to do a panic, is that what you're saying? Exactly! Officer Prince was murdered simply because he was in uniform. Mr. Payne, do you have any comments? I, um, I'm thinking... Hmm, it seems the truth has come out at last. The witness, Mr. Wellington, you are... <laughs> Impressive! Not bad for a person with a third-rate education! What's that supposed to mean? The evidence! Evidence! Um, the guy is really... I've been waving around and talking about is that suspicious cell phone! Suspicious phone number this, suspicious car out of the con group that! They're all on that phone! But who's to say that phone is really mine?! Where's your proof? Your evidence! You want proof that this is... this phone is yours? <laughs> I already told you earlier! The phone I've lost, I already found! You don't even have the slightest idea who the phone... Uh, who the phone in your hand belongs to! But you can be sure that it isn't mine, you simpleton! What? <laughs> it feels good to see you squirm! Hmm. You seem to have a problem on your hands with this phone. Whose phone is it? Without knowing that, it's meaningless evidence. Your Honor! This is bad. I can't let him turn the tables on me like this. Huh. A cell phone. There has to be something I've overlooked. There's gotta be. Hmm. Maybe. Fingerprint the phone. No, the phone stored numbers. Let's go with the stored numbers. No. I mean, we've all handled the phone. Even I have handled the phone, so uh, it's gonna have my fingerprints smothered all over it. It's gonna have Maggie's fingerprints smothered all over it. 
probably won't be able to tell if his fingerprints were on it. So, sword numbers? This phone has the names and numbers of those in the Kong group in its memory. I can show them to you, Your Honor. I don't believe this. What are you talking about? Uh... What we were trying to determine is who that phone belongs to. Who cares? Oh, do we have to do the fingerprints? Ugh, that jerk is back to his air grenade. Okay. Okay, so fingerprints, sure. I got it! We should check for fingerprints. Fingerprints? Yeah, Your Honor. Mr. Wellington must have left some prints on this phone. Nick, don't you remember? When you get that from Maggie, you wiped it off! Why, what? You said there was sand all over it, so... Wiped it? I wiped it! Pretty thoroughly, too. It's so, so much fun watching third-rate trash babble like morons amongst themselves. Ugh, he made a complete recovery. How many times do I have to say this? My phone is right here, you see. Oh, and incidentally, you, can, you can't check the numbers stored on this phone. Yes, I can. Take the phone away from him. It must have glitched because all the numbers are just magically disappeared. Oh, you deleted it. You gotta be joking. Erased, he erased all the numbers. I was going to use this as evidence. Mr. Wellington. What's this? By the tone of your voice, it sounds like you still have some fight left in you. Where did you finally find your phone? <laughs> oh, you're too much! And of course, you have no idea what I'm talking about. I... I... Oh my god. Now I remember! Beep. Okay, so it looks like they hung up. Oh, good. I finally found it. Right, 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 right. So that's when... What's wrong, Mr. Attorney? Why the harsh glare in your eyes? Nick, we've worked so hard to get this far, but if you don't do something quick, he's going to get off scot-free. I know. I know this one has to be his. But how am I supposed to prove something like that? It's the right. If you cannot prove who the owner of that cell phone is, your indictment has no basis and therefore no power. It looks like you came up a penny short. Where? Where did I go wrong? I don't blame yourself. You're merely a third-rate lawyer. You only made one big mistake. Who are you? What are you? That's something you haven't figured out for years uh, yourself yet. Who am I? But hereby concludes the cross-examination. <laughs> if that that will be all, have a bid you gentlemen and your ladies and ladies goodbye. Have a reservation at the ultra fancy out restaurant uh, on the upper side of town. Thank you for your assistance. You had a stressful day, so please bon appetit. What am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to just let it go at this? Raise an objection? Hold it. Please wait, Your Honor. All right, Nick! I think I may be able to prove it. Prove it? Prove what, Mr. Wright? Everything! Your Honor! The cross examination has already ended! Besides, the fence is just going to badge the witness with more insane, inane questions. You will not har harass the witness. Is that clear, Mr. Wright? I'll harass them all I fucking want! Did you hear that? No harassment allowed, Mr. Attorney. Please, Your Honor. Very well. But this is your last chance, Mr. Wright. You may present one piece of evidence to the court. Only, only get one shot at this. If you cannot prove anything, it's over. For your client and for you. Do you fully understand? Yeah. Yeah, I fully understand. Just a case. Yes, Your Honor. I'm sure you're all well aware, Your Honor, but the cross examination, cross -examination period has ended. You were paying... Were you paying attention, Mr. Payne? I said Mr. Wright could present one more piece of evidence. Oh. Now then, Mr. Wright. This is your last chance. It all comes down to this. It's go time! Oh, I get three bars? Okay, please. Uh... I don't know. <laughs> um, 
Um... I mean, can we? I don't know. I don't know. <sighs> I guess the phone? Is this your final answer? It's a bit disappointing. No, no, no. It's just a friendly gesture. <laughs> you should know how to send a friendly gesture, Mr. Attorney. This is your absolute last chance. So no more friendly gestures. Yeah, hey, yes, Your Honor, sorry. Okay, well. We already used the glasses, didn't we? I mean, I saved, so we can just try it. Okay. It's a bit disappointing. Well, you know what? That's it for the episode. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy the episode, press like below. If you're not subscribed yet, one of my videos, second, check out some of the content, see if it's to your liking. Once again, thank you for watching. We all have a great day.